Hi, this is Jim Callis with Jonathan Mayo from MLB Pipeline. We're talking about Arizona Fall League prospects, and we're discussing, in particular, the players that the Tigers have sent to the Glendale Desert Dogs. Tigers, another playoff appearance this year, another division title, and some of the players they've sent to Arizona actually got cameos with the Tigers in September, Jonathan. Yeah, the one that I'm the most intrigued with is Stephen Moya, and uh, he's kind of hard to miss. Uh, he's as tall as uh, as there is uh, in the Arizona Fall League, six foot seven, corner outfielder type, and he is all about power. This is the kind of player that when he takes batting practice, everybody stops to watch because the ball just makes a different sound coming off of his bat. The power played this year in the big leagues, 35 homers, 105 runs batted in in double A, and he did make uh, a September cameo in the big leagues. He's even got some speed. He stole 16 bases. The one thing that Stephen Moya needs to continue to work on if he wants to have success at the big league level and tap into that power is his plate discipline and pitch recognition at a 7 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio in 2014. That's not going to work when you get to the big league level. If he can continue to work on that, he has a chance to be a really exciting middle of the order power threat for the Tigers in the near future. Just keep doing the same thing I was doing during the season, just uh, focusing on strike zone, um, swing, swinging strikes, and uh, that's it. I just say, like, natural power. You just have to focus on uh, make contact with the ball, uh, focus on getting strikes, and uh, see the ball up, and just try to make contact the, the ball will do uh, what you have to do. Another Arizona Fall League player who's up with the Tigers this year is Robbie Ray. And while the Doug Fister trade with the Nationals hasn't provided early returns that have been great for the Tigers, in the long term, I think Ray is going to be the key to that deal for Detroit. I think he's the best left-handed starting pitcher in the Arizona Fall League. He actually made his big league debut in May, won his first start. He was back up again at the end of the year, helping the Tigers nail down that American League Central crown. And he's a lefty with a low 90s fastball. He's got a, a good changeup. The slider's coming along. It's his third pitch right now. And if he can refine that slider and he can refine that command, I think those will be his points of emphasis in the Arizona Fall League. He has a chance to, be, to maybe be a number three starter, which is what the Tigers were looking for when they made that trade with the Nationals.